Film Conference presented by CES and other personnel, and I'd just like to um, hand over to Bill, the director, who's going to introduce our guest speakers and open our conference. Good morning, everyone. I'll stand a little bit ahead of this, if you don't mind. Very conscious that people are standing, and some people are still coming in. So I need to be brief. Firstly, thank you for coming. It's not Friday or Tuesday or Saturday. And there are other priorities, I'm sure, that impact your life. So thank you for being here and giving your time uh, to this exercise. Yeah. Particular thanks to, to Geraldine, Christine, Sharon, and Debbie. Debbie's someone who's back doing the organizer. Who bring us here and who probably each year now have started to institutionalize something that we do. So, to that team and the wider office, congratulations and thank you. The, the people, as I understand the program today, is quite focused. Uh, three or four very kind of direct uh, focus on the history, uh, and the history of the numbers that's been involved there. In that sense, can I just welcome Dr. Jeffrey Naylor, who uh, comes to us as quite the expert. I remember when Christine and others were talking about getting Jenny last year. Uh, we've got to have this lady come and listen here for us. So she's here, and it's wonderful that we can avail of that expertise. Uh, said to be early, uh, when introducing me, I want to be known as the person who strives to be useful. And I dare say that's going to be today's outcome, which will be very useful, uh, given what's happened in the past. Uh, we've got our own team presenting, of course, uh, and we've also got uh, Roby Jail Wardener uh, from Townsville, uh, who's very much into digital learning uh, and, and digital competency and marrying the two. And uh, Kathy Day, uh, whenever something comes up, digital or curriculum or education, I'll need to check in with Roby. And uh, so we're very grateful to Townsville, and Roby particularly, uh, for coming and sharing that expertise with us today. Of course, we've got uh, Antoinette and Lily, who will uh, have a focus uh, in terms of one of those core themes running through the whole group of uh, Indigenous perspectives. So we're very fortunate to have them too and, and to utilise their expertise. When I looked at the program uh, about story, uh, my story, your story, I thought I've seen this before. Uh, Richard Raw talks about us living in three tents. Our own tent, you know, our personal lives, our circumstances, and then the tent we share with others. Uh, usually our school, probably our wider family, uh, maybe the soccer club and the universal story, the story that informs all that we do, the story of Jesus, the nature of God's revelation to us. And we live in those three places and we move in and out of them all the time. So when I saw uh, my story and your story, I thought, yeah, it is about singular, but it's not just about me. It's about we in context in terms of what we do in school and how we are informed by a much deeper universal philosophy. So my hope today is that you can get the three stories and they can come together. Certainly that it's helpful to you personally, but secondly that there are people here who have come in teams, in school groups, in some quite a distance. So I truly hope that grouping can be enriched and by the whole group but we don't lose sight of why we're here in the first place, the universal story. So thank you for coming. Uh, it's good to come a little bit early because you learn what you have to say at times like this. And Jenny said, well, set the scene. Uh, tell them that it's about a community of learners, and so it is. Uh, so we each come as, as somewhat of a pilgrim uh, in this learning activity. So you're very welcome. And again, I notice people here who have come distances and who have obviously made sacrifices. So I hope the output 
can actually match that input of the mission. So congratulations, girls. Thank you. And we look forward to seeing you in the morning. We'd like to, while we're gathered together, first of all acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we are meeting, the elders past, present and future, everything that they have brought to this place and everything that they will bring. And we will start with a prayer as a reflective prayer.